Now, what to do with this? What these acetyl-CoA A's will do? They will convert eventually. They will go along the pathway of ketogenesis. Let me explain how. What is this acetyl group? Two carbon unit. And what is this? My hand only. Monkey. So what is this? Acetyl CoA. My hand with the banana is acetyl CoA. And what is this? This is another acetyl CoA. And how many acetyl CoA we have? Two. Two. I will talk about enzymes later. Let me tell you the ketogenesis is very simple. Acetyl CoA, acetyl CoA. Now these monkeys cannot go into citric acid cycle. What will happen to these monkeys? They will hug each other. They were supposed to. The beautiful couple is made when acetyl CoA hug the oxalo acetate. But in such frustrating time, they will hug the each other. So this monkey and this monkey, both of monkey come together and they share their bananas. And you know, whenever two mon monkeys meet, one monkey is clever. That monkey will take the both banana and one monkey become banana less. This is how life, even after marriage, it happens. I will not go into detail, right? So what really happens that when in the hepatic mitochondria there is excessive amount of acetyl CoA, there are excessive amount of monkeys with bananas, and they are not allowed to enter into citric acid cycle. They get frustrated. They go into the jungle of keto genesis. In that jungle, they will hug each other, and usually one monkey will take the banana of the other monkey and this is what banana less monkey this is just coa this is now not acetyl coa this is just coa. coa and what is this monkey with double banana it is aceto acetyl coa you are understanding so in this way here when two acetyl coa molecule come bump with each other and when they separate one monkey has lost the, one CoA has lost the acetyl CoA, acetyl group, and other monkey has two bananas. It means other monkey is aceto acetyl CoA. So I will show you here. Let me see what is happening. This is the monkey number one, and here is the monkey number two, right? And here is banana with first monkey and this is a banana with second monkey right i'm not very good at drawing the monkeys but anyway you believe these are monkeys and result will be what result will be that one monkey will have two bananas the result will be one monkey will have two banana and other monkey will be weeping why weeping it is very unhappy and sitting there because other monkey has taken its two bananas it is double banana monkey right so we can say two acetyl coa fuse with each other and when they go away one coa has lost its two carbon unit you know acetyl group is two carbon unit we can also show this banana has two carbons inside so one coa with two carbons other coa with two carbons when they fuse with each other, one CoA result into four carbon unit and other has lost its own two carbons. Is that right? Now this compound, this monkey, the happy monkey, right? This is monkey weeping and here is monkey happy, right? And this happy monkey is with two bananas and this two banana monkey is called, it has its own acetyl group. It's the own acetyl group and it has taken aceto group from other. So this monkey will be called aceto acetyl CoA. Right? This is happening into ketogenic pathway. That two monkeys meet with each other, right? And when they separate from each other, what has happened? One monkey has been, one molecule has been converted into aceto acetyl CoA and what has gone out of the reaction CoA is that right now this VIP monkey happy one it will look where is another third monkey it has intention to take another banana so what happens this monkey 
now will interact with another monkey another monkey mean another molecule of acetyl coa another stupid molecule will come here it doesn't know that first monkey is very clever right it will also enter into this reaction you know what will happen the clever one will take the banana of this one too so when they will separate what will happen that this this monkey will be also weeping there and this monkey becomes super happy this monkey become super happy right how many bananas it has 1 2 3 how many carbon unit 6 you understand it this monkey has how many carbon units 6 now this 6 i will repeat the reaction up to this now you will what is the name of this by the way just please what is the name of this molecule have you heard of the molecule hmg coa have you heard of it this is hmg coa this is h m g o a actually to be more in detail if i write 3 hydroxy hydroxy 3 methyl glutaryl glutaryl co a so simply we can k call it h m g co a 3 hydroxy 3 methyl glutaryl co a how many carbon units with it with this co a 6 it has originally two of its own from the second monkey it snatched two more from the third monkey it again snatched two more and now this six carbon unit with coa is called hmg coa this this hmg coa is being produced in the mitochondria of liver right mitochondria of liver hepatocyte here i want to mention hmg coa molecules are also produced in the cytosol HMG coa molecule by these reactions can be generated into cytosol. In the cytosol, those HMG coa molecules are eventually used up in generation of cholesterol. Right? But when these HMG coa molecules are produced in the mitochondria of liver cell, they are used up in creation of ketone bodies. This is very important to understand. If this is mitochondria and here is cytosol, which HMG -Go CoA molecules are generated in mitochondria. mitochondria, they will be eventually converted into ketone bodies. Which HMG CoA molecules are being produced by cytosol, they can be eventually utilized in formation of cholesterol. cholesterol. So don't confuse both of them, right? Depending upon their site, they will go into different end result because mitochondria have different enzyme than the cytosol. Is that clear? Now, up to now, I will repeat a little bit. Where is my bananas and monkeys? Yes. Okay. What is this? Estel coe. And what is this? Estel coe. Right? Now, first monkey. Second monkey come. Thug. First monkey snatches away the second monkey's two carbon units. What is this? What goes out of reaction? What entered into reaction? 2 acetyl coa and what ends up the reaction? Coa and aceto acetyl coa. What is it? Aceto acetyl coa. Then aceto acetyl coa will react with one more acetyl coa, one more monkey. And they will come near to each other and this clever first monkey will take the another two carbon from this third monkey and third monkey will go weeping away because it has lost its banana and it, this monkey is now only coa not coa with acetyl group and what is this now hmg coa if hmg coa is produced in the mitochondria eventually it can go into generation of ketone bodies if hmg coa is produced in cytosol then it is converted into cholesterol is that clear? But right now we will focus on mitochondria and ketogenesis. Any question up to this? And now what are the enzymes up to this? Of course, 
when two acetyl coa molecule fuse with each other an enzyme help into this reaction very simple name of this enzyme this can be what is made here aceto acetyl coa so this enzyme which was involved in this step that is aceto acetyl coa synthase what is it called aceto acetyl coa synthase so enzyme here yes star 1 the enzyme here what is the name of this enzyme aceto acetyl coa synthase synthase or another name for this enzyme is simply thiolase thiolase so now onward in the lecture we will call this thiolase is that right what is thiolase thiolase is an enzyme which synthesizes acetyl coa by fusion of two acetyl coa and by releasing the acetyl coa and coa separately is it clear okay this enzyme the star one this enzyme is present in mitochondria and cytosol both this enzyme is present in mitochondria and cytosol both the next enzyme next enzyme was that when gas aceto acetyl coa fusing with another acetyl coa and resulting into hmg coa so there is synthesis of hmg coa going on so what should be the name of enzyme hmg coa synthase right so the second enzyme which is present over here where it is here in this reaction star 2 this was star 1 the star 2 is yes hmg coa synthase remember this enzyme is rate limiting enzyme in ketogenesis it is rate limiting enzyme right this enzyme is basically rate limiting enzyme is that right so what is the rate limiting enzyme in ketogenic pathway H hmg coa synthase now once hmg coa synthase has done its function and we have ended up into hmg just tell me what is this what is this and what is this okay acetyl coa acetyl coa together become acetoacetyl coa what is the enzyme thiolase then another one come banana uh, two carbon unit what is this now hmg coa hmg coa synthase is that right yes. no problem here once it is done this was a clever what monkey, monkey which has taken three as three group right it was having its own acetyl group it has taken one group from okay it had its own two carbon unit it has taken two carbon unit from second monkey second coa it has taken another two carbon unit from third coa third coa and how many now it has carbon unit six, six carbon unit <coughs> but this monkey is not going to be happy for long time you know what happen another enzyme come it will hit on the head of this monkey and when this monkey is hit right it will lose its two bananas which has it has snatched stand here what is this hmg coa another enzyme come and hit here and result is that whatever it has snatched the bananas it will lose there it has only its own banana and go away now these two bananas are left there now what are these two banana this is our first primary ketone body what is this aceto acetate one from second and one from third right what is left behind is aceto acetate it is our primary ketone body right this is how primary ketone body aceto acetate is produced right